Happy July 17th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. <clears throat> this is take two. <laughs> I made a rookie mistake, and uh, while I was editing this, lost the recording. So, we're going to try again, but uh, for better or worse, I already know what's going to happen <laughs> here today. Um, but, uh, here we are anyway. When last we played, Ivy discovered... The source of the counterfeit guild crests. The counterfeiter is none other than the guildmaster himself, Rot Ward Scale. Um, he claims to be perpetrating his crime for the good of Saberhold and confesses he is motivated by personal trauma. Um, as a child, he lost a sibling to an insect attack, so he's going around the normal limits placed on the crafting guilds and he's enlisting whomever he can to craft gear for impending war with the insects i believe now well now i know we are for sure headed to the leader of saberhold and uh we uh yeah so um <laughs> let's see what adventures on the calendar for us today here we go with information regarding the counterfeit guild crests, you go to see the Lord of Saberhold. After a long wait, you are finally ushered into Hark Hornclaw's Great Hall. My guards tell me of your encounter when you first arrived at the city. I hope you bring a solution to our problem. Uh, he's talking about um, when we saw the, uh, the armorsmith or some kind of... Uh, crafter arrested for having the uh the fake guild crest uh that kicked off this whole side quest so um i i don't see any hidden icons on this page it's not gonna let us pickpocket the lord of Saberhold, i guess <laughs> fair enough and now we are faced we're gonna do one of two things we are either gonna accuse rot ward scale of the crime or we will lie and claim that we killed the counterfeiter. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Here we go. Now, uh, fair warning. Uh, Hark, Hornclaw, and Rot Ward Scale seem to be cut from the same cloth in that they both uh, like giving speeches. So, um, this is Hark Hornclaw talking to us. Greetings and apologies for skipping the formalities. Welcome to the city. I hope it finds you well, whatever your reason for being here. Now, I have numerous responsibilities in overseeing the administration of Saberhold, so let's focus on the matter at hand. These forged crests are causing unnecessary trouble. While Ward Scale's viewpoint holds merit, safeguarding the well-being being of our inhabitants involves more than just gearing up for conflict. So. So here he says, while well, Ward Scale's viewpoint holds merit. So they've obviously already had discussions about this situation. He doesn't know that Rot has gone behind his back and is forging fake uh, guild crests. Um, but, uh, but he's aware of the situation. He continues. I am tasked with upholding the laws and maintaining the delicate balance within our community. While I understand the urgency presented by the impending insect threat, I must also consider the broader implications of allowing more artisans into the guilds at this juncture. Our city's infrastructure and resources are strained as it is, and admitting more members without proper oversight could lead to further chaos and disorder. I acknowledge Rot Ward Scale's concerns and the value of skilled artisans like yourself in this potential war. However, we must approach this situation with caution and prudence. I am open to finding alternative ways for others to contribute to our defense efforts without officially joining the guilds, provided it doesn't disrupt the existing order or put the city's stability at risk. We shall find a compromise that benefits both the artisans and the city without compromising the principles that are the foundation of civilization. Now, what do you have for me? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, so Rot is, oh, or not, not Rot, uh, Hark, Hornclaw here, 
says he's open to finding other solutions to getting uh, more crafters engaged and doing what they need to do, but he's worried about other things going on in the city and destabilization economically, I guess, and so on and so forth. So I don't think this is much of a dilemma for Ivy. She's in Dungeons and Dragons terms. She's of the lawful sort, so she would default to trusting uh trusting the power structures and trusting the um uh the the system to um and the hierarchy and that sort of thing so and uh if there was any hesitation at all uh hark's openness to um a recognition of the problem and openness to find um ways to solve it that don't cause other troubles yeah ivy's gonna go with the um Accuse Rot Ward scale of the crime. So we roll d20 plus charisma, reminder persuasive. If you have proof of counterfeit, which Ivy does, written down from earlier, you gain a plus 10 bonus to this roll. Um, I, I already rolled this. <laughs> Thank God it will do it again. I actually rolled even better this time. 14 plus 10 is 24. That's easily the best result here. The news deeply troubles me, says Hark. I fear the signs were present all along, and I chose to ignore them. Ward Scale was not only a loyal friend, but also an esteemed guild master. Guards, apprehend him, and for your contributions today. Here is your well-deserved reward. Gain 25 amber. I've already written that down. Uh, so we went from 20 to 45. That is excellent. We more than doubled our amber. And that, my friends, <laughs> it's July 17th, uh, take two. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>